Today, we're diving into Falcon 180B, which is the latest large language model released by the Technology Innovation Institute in UAE. Now, this is the same organization which released the Falcon 40B model earlier this year, which when it came out, it actually topped the open source large language models list created by Hugging Face. Now, the Falcon 180B is actually trained on 3.5 trillion tokens and has 180 billion parameters, making it one of the largest open source language model. In terms of performance, when we look at the benchmarks, it's not just big, it's also relatively powerful. So the Falcon 180B actually outperforms competitors like Meta's Llama 2 in a lot of different benchmarks, including reasoning and coding proficiency. It's also very close in performance to Google Palms 2 Large, which is actually used to power BARD. When it comes to its performance against OpenAI's models, it lies between GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. Now, for more context, Google Palms 2 has over 350 billion parameters, and GPT 4 has over 1 trillion parameters. Now, both of these numbers are speculated upon, and there's a lot of rumors, but this is something that a lot of experts also agree on based on what they've heard from a lot of insiders within these two companies. Now, given all of that, the Falcon 180B, despite being much smaller than both of these models, actually performs relatively well in comparison. This table right here just reinforces the trend that we've been seeing over the last couple of months to a year, in which we see a lot of new open source large language models actually catching up to state-of-the-art closed source large language models which already exist. Next up, let's actually take a look at the commercial use and licensing of these models. So the Falcon 180B is openly available, but it comes with its own specific licensing framework, which is based off of Apache 2.0. And this is quite different from the Falcon 40B model. This time round, the Falcon 180B is available for commercial use, but there are some restrictions, particularly against hosting use. So that means if you plan on creating a service which requires you to provide a hosted version of the model, you might actually run into some issues when it comes to creating this type of service because there are some restrictions against providing a commercially hosted version of the Falcon 180B model. You can find the Falcon 180B model easily available on Hugging Face and it has already been downloaded close to 60,000 times just this past month. That being said, if you compare it with the Falcon 40B model, according to TII, the Falcon 40B, on the other hand, has been used over 12 million times already. So we can definitely expect this number to grow as time goes on. Since the Falcon 180B model is so large, there are definitely a lot of hardware requirements and restrictions when it actually comes to deploying it. According to the Hugging Face page, to run a full inference of the model, in full precision, you need approximately eight A100s 80 gig cards. And that is pretty expensive considering that each of these cards actually retail for about 15,000 US dollars. That being said, a lot of people might be using cloud compute services like AWS to run it. And you can absolutely run this on things like AWS SageMaker. And just to give you an approximate idea to run this for a month, it potentially cost about $22,000 on AWS SageMaker to run this. So this definitely limits the usage of the Falcon 180B to enterprises or larger organizations which can afford to run this model. There's two different types of Falcon 180B models on Hugging Face as of now. There's the base pre-trained Falcon 180B model, and then there's also a fine-tuned version for Falcon 180B chat. In order to run the Falcon 180B model, we're going to try out the Hugging Face chat demo. So once you're on the main website for this, click on try it now in our chat demo. And once you do that, you'll go to this page right here. Now, in order to run this, we actually need to duplicate this space as well as get a pro version of Hugging Face and its token. So what you're going to do is Click duplicate this space and you're going to have to choose a base level hardware and you can actually choose the NVIDIA A10G large. Once you click on that, 
enter your hugging face token right here and then click duplicate space. Now I've already went ahead and created a running instance of the Falcon 180B model. I'm going to first test it out with some very basic text to code generation. So I'm going to ask it to help me create a function in Python, which calculates the area of a circle. In real time, this has actually run pretty fast and it did an excellent job of doing exactly what I asked it to do. Now keep in mind that the type of processor you're using greatly determines the type of speed that you're gonna be getting from this model. Now, let me actually ask it to convert some Python code into Java code. So we're gonna test that capability. So I asked it to convert a very basic function in Python to Java. So this function in Python actually just returns hello and followed by your name. So what it has done in Java is actually has created a class called greeter as well as two separate functions. One function actually forms a string hello followed by your name and the other function prints out that sentence. So this is actually really good and it also follows Java programming principles in order to do this as well. Next, we're gonna test out how good the Falcon 180B is at handling bugs in code. So what I've said is help me identify a bug in the following code. And this code is a very simple division function of dividing A by B. However, there is a bug. The fact is that if b is zero, this function is gonna throw an error. And that is exactly what the Falcon 180b has identified. So the bug is that the function does not handle division by zero, which can result in a zero division error. So here's an updated version of the function which handles the error. In my experience, I've noticed that it is significantly better than the Falcon 40b model. And if you wanna watch a video on that, you can check out the video above for a more in-depth explanation on the Falcon 40B model. That being said, the Falcon 180B model is truly amazing, especially when it comes to its coding capabilities. This is pretty amazing capabilities for something which is an open source model. We often see these types of results with things like GPT 3.5 or GPT 4, but it's amazing that we are seeing similar results in open source models as well. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let us know what you thought about this in the comment section below and if you have tried out the Falcon 180B model. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe for more amazing AI content.